Good afternoon, everyone. It's the Pepper Virgin here, and we are back with another video for you guys. And today I got... It's your boy, Ozzy. We got another review for you for that bucket list that we always talking about. See if there's any roller coaster or any seating on the roller coaster, as we always talk about. Today, the culprit is none other than Lay's. And if you see there in the corner, it says new with an extra crunch. What flavor is it, you ask? Well, they decided to honey habanero and put a real big extra on the middle of the bag. If you notice, with the pepper, it's an actual pepper. Let's read what they actually made the stuff with. How extensive and processed is it? Stay tuned. So, for the list, I'm already reading potatoes, vegetable oil, sunflower corn and or canola oil, sugar, salt, natural flavors, maltodextrin, brown sugar, whey dextrose, tomato powder, cheddar cheese, milk cheese cultures, salt, enzymes, onion powder, spices, yeast extract, cream, sour cream, cultured cream, skim milk, paprika extracts, honey, garlic powder, habanero, chili powder. So there is a pepper in here. It says artificial color, all the lakes that you can imagine, yellow six, red 40, blue one, butter, cream salt, Monterey Jack, cheese, milk, cheese cultures, and other salt and enzymes, Swiss cheese, milk, cheese culture, salt and enzymes. Contains milk ingredients. Made by Frito-Lay from Texas. Wow. The big side little thing there says extra flavor, extra crunch with a pepper. So I'm hoping it's extra hot, extra crunch, and not just extra crunch and no hot. Right? Without further ado... smells Lay's. That's what I smell there. Lay's potato chips. It has kind of a vinegar, like salt and salt vinegar. Salt vinegar smell, right? Mm, but yeah, that's definitely a potato chip smell. Alright, so I'm going to grab a couple. Trying to see if I dive off the deep end. So you guys can see what that looks like. It's a little dusty. I wouldn't say too much. This one looks more like it's been dipped in oil for a long period of time. Cheers. All right. Cheers. I did the same thing, so... There's something about the Lay's Kettle Cooked Chips. It has a signature flavor, you know, like a signature crunch to it. I can taste the remnants of a habanero. I can get the spiciness. All right. But it's not like a full blasted habanero. No. I'm giving it a one on heat. Yeah. But not because it's really hot, because it tastes more like. Yeah. actual pepper mm -hmm. exactly you know i was actually happy to read that they had habanero peppers in there most of the chips that we've done so far have little to no yeah it's more seasoning than anything else yeah and we had to figure out like what the hell is making it spicy get us get us that uh the reaper sauce doom, doom, doom. now i am not gonna lie there is a surprisingly sweet Mm -hmm. flavor in the forefront of that it makes it really it helps it you know like uh when you put salt on a uh, chocolate chip cookie it helps sweeten it up we had a video on this earlier it's one of their it's one of them on there you can go and see what we said about the actual review on this but just for the 
extraness, because you know, there has to be some seating on the roller coaster. If there isn't any seating, then what are we here for? All right. So I'm gonna dabble a little bit of that stuff on there. I don't want it to fall off the chip. But it's straight Reaper puree. Ooh. Not to take away from the kettle cooked extra honey habanero review that we're doing now. We're just being mm -hmm. extra, like the bag says. No, you are what you eat. How much hotter can it really get? Pretty sure that's what, you know, our forefathers thought when they made these hot snacks. Nothing? Taste of Reaper. Right. But no sweat building, nothing like that? No. That, it's not even really getting hotter in the mouth, to be honest. Holy shit. Yeah. Holy shnikes. Still a virgin here, guys. Do not take that. As in, like, my tolerance is building up or anything like that. Now, they do say that the Reaper kind of creeps up behind. I do feel a little something, right? But I, I get it. I get it more from the chip. Right. Like that The taste of the chip makes it feel like if it was like that. It's really still feeling. lingering. Yeah. When I doused it a little bit. It wasn't an extreme amount. It's not like I'm sitting here sipping the Carolina Reaper bottle either. But... Ooh, man. This chip itself. So pretty good chip. Flavor wise, I'm giving it an eight. Right? Out of all these flavors, salt and vinegar, all that, this is an eight. This is a solid eight. Heat wise, it's a one. Mild. Very, very mild, but it tastes like if it was supposed to be hot. Yes. Is that a better explanation? Absolutely. Right. Get a couple more. Put some more Reaper puree sauce in there. Mm. The good thing is I really do taste the brown sugar in this one. Yes, or honey. Mm -hmm. Or the honey. There you guys. But it definitely helps. Smell a vision here. Open up, open up. You guys can have some of that stuff. Mm. Here we go. And that actually makes it taste really good. Mm -hmm. Sorry for eating like a horse. That lit me up a little bit in the back. Yeah, no, it is. You're sweating? Yeah. So, that's his telltale sign that something's really hot. Mm -hmm. If that shit don't make Ozzy sweat... It's probably not going to be good enough. You can throw it away. Yeah. <laughs> well, guys, you heard it here. Maybe not first, but you heard it here. We will be back with more of these. This is another episode of Lunchtime Shenanigans. You already know what to do. Like, share, subscribe. Let us know what you thought. Have you tried the chips yourself? If you have, what do you think? We'll catch you on the next one.